Now in this video we are going to learn about the chas command okay so basically this is similar command uh, just we learn about in previous video that is password command but in this we cannot change the password okay so we will start with the basic options and uh, basic implementation of this command so that is chas and uh, using hyphen l you can get the information of a password of any account but before moving forward we will need to create a password uh, sorry not password a user sudo not user at i will use add user and i will name that user as a exabyte okay so i will just use like this exabyte a b y t e exabyte okay password nothing 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 why okay clear the screen now just ch age and provide hyphen l as option and the username that is a exabyte mm. okay permission denied okay no problem we will just use the sudo and we will get the permission is that easy yes <laughs> okay so as you can see the last password change is that 7 uh, like 30 september it means today's date and password expires never never nothing is added account expires nothing is added minimum number of days between password change is zero uh, by default and by default maximum is 999 it's uh, like it takes the date to, from 1970 i think that's why it's showing that number of days and warning warning is this like if we, your password get uh, like uh, uh ninth after before seven days of this completion you will get a warning okay so now uh, let's move and i will use this uh, we will use the maximum number of days like we will use hyphen m option to change the maximum number of days like this one so how we can do it ch is hyphen capital m i will just use 100 and the username that is uh, this one and permission denied again because we have not used sudo let me use sudo and done and we will just clear the screen and just call that function and here on that command and here you can see the maximum number of days between password change is 100 now similarly you can just uh, add the minimum number of days also what it will do like it will just uh, you cannot change your password uh, before that particular days whatever you specify in the minimum days so you can do it it's simple just uh, instead of capital m you will need to use hyphen m and you can use here the number of days that is 50 like till 50 days you cannot change your password again let me show the information and here you can see the 50 days like uh, minimum number of days between password changes is 50 moving forward if you will provide a minus one option then what will happen let's see with the uh, maximum number of days it will remove that uh, it will not check for that validation hyphen m and if i will provide minus one and i will do again check and here you can see minus one it will like it will not check for the maximum number of days if you will use minus one but i don't want to use minus one i will simply use the hundred to keep things simple okay moving forward if you will use uh, zero in a small m like in minimum number of days it means uh, the user can change the password anytime but if you <coughs> but if you use uh, some kind of number here then user can can change that password after that number of days if i use zero then user can change the password anytime if he wants okay that is the main use of zero and uh, but i will use 50 here okay now moving forward uh if you want to add the expiry date in your password like your password should expire after that certain number of days okay so how you can do it if i will use like this sudo let me just yeah sudo hyphen capital e and i will use the format as year 2022 uh 10 and 01 and the username okay and tomorrow my password will get expire and here you can see account expire cup expire or uh it's on october 1 2022
okay but password uh, last password change this and password will expire when it in january 8 2022 yeah it's a little bit uh, like a logical thing but yes you can understand because we have not uh, i have just used this expiry date like uh, normally okay so moving forward if you want to use the warning like uh, suppose there are 100 days after 100 your password will get expired but you want to warn the user before seven days then in that case you can use hyphen w option hyphen w and suppose you want to warn the user before 10 days and uh, here we got an error this is capital w set expiration warning days to warn days okay okay sudo hyphen w10 yeah now done and here you can see number of days that is 10 as we are provided here okay so in this way you can uh, change the expiry date minimum days of required to change the password password validation warning days you can do all the things with this particular command and also you can do same things with password command also but uh, yeah if you don't want to change the password then you can use this command normally like you don't need to change the password again and again using password command okay so you have basically two commands to do these same thing that is password and this one what it was chas okay so that's all for today's video guys and i hope you liked it if you have any queries you can ask in the comment section and we will meet you in the next video so thank you thank you for watching